Nothing sure to bring a smile to your face. Babies dressed up inside the NICU at Norton Women and Children's Hospital for Halloween. It is a tradition mean to, meant to bring some joy to parents so worried about their newborns, those tiny newborns. WHAS 11 Shay McAllister with the cuteness overload. <laughs> Cuteness comes in all shapes and sizes. Inside this NICU, it comes in costume too. Football is JC on, and the football player is Jay Sean. The identical twins were born two months early. It gets hard. It gets really hard. It gets stressful. But today, a sweet surprise from staff. Her baby boys dressed up, celebrating their first holiday the same way every other child does. It's nice seeing them get to enjoy everything, even though they're in the hospital. Down the hall, these proud parents picked their own costume for their pretty girl. They say it was made by Build-A-Bear and fit her one pound frame perfectly. Oh my God, I was literally just sitting here smitten <laughs> with joy just because it's so cute and just to have her sitting there all dressed up is so nice. It's a long standing tradition at Norton Women's and Children's Hospital every infant dressed in a costume. Having a baby in the NICU is not normal at all. And so we try as much as we can to make those parents have a great experience with their baby so they can have happy times, um, you know, along with the roller coaster of the ups and downs of being in the, in the NICU. From superhero to super cute, it's putting smiles on the faces of parents who need the pick me up. Shay McAllister. This, it brightened up my whole day for today, so. WHAS 11 News. Those costumes so cute and that ladybug, oh my. Well, some costumes are provided by families or the NICU. Some are made by hospital employees and of course, volunteers.